Are you like me with plenty of small offcuts of felt clogging up the studio? Would you like to learn my top tip for creating beautiful felt beads using these scraps? The beads can be used for things like necklaces, buttons or embellishing your felt or other textile pieces. My name is Nicola Brown and during this short video I will share my favourite way of utilising these scraps in a simple and efficient method. There are many other ways of making felt beads but this I feel is quite time saving and also I feel it results in beautiful pieces. Let's go! The first thing to do is gather your supplies. For this project, you need some offcuts or scraps of handmade felt, a sharp pair of scissors or a rotary cutter and a mat, strong thread or yarn that is not wool, a very sharp hand sewing needle, longer is better than short, and you are also going to need your washing machine. If you've never felted before, why not watch my beginner's wet felting tutorial, make some samples, and then you can use one or two of those for making your beads. Step one is to cut your felt into little squares. Now I'm using a felt bag here, an eco printed felt bag. It had three different layers of wool. I wasn't happy with the bag and I'm quite confident that this thicker felt is going to make very nice beads. Don't obsess about cutting your little cubes very accurately. We're looking for organic shapes here. So anything from one centimeter square roughly a square, it doesn't have to be so even, up to even um, three or four centimetres. Make a variety of sizes and in that way you'll have a variety of different sized beads. I also made some beads using a lighter weight felt and this was an old jacket that I cut up because I made it before my sewing skills got uh, relatively competent. I decided I liked the seams in the jacket so I was going to utilize them and see what sorts of beads they would make. So they're bigger than a centimeter square and they also have a seam down the middle. The lightest felt that I used was a Nuno felt tunic which I hadn't been wearing. I used the rotary cutter to make some of the squares and scissors to make others. You can see the results of the Nuno felt here in the necklace that I'm wearing. So how did I actually make the beads? So step two is threading the felt squares onto your yarn or cord. You need to use a very sharp needle, not a thick needle, but a sharp needle so that it passes through the felt easily. And the reason you don't want to use wool yarn for this is you don't want the wool to actually felt and make all the little squares stick together as you process the beads. So a sharp needle and I'm actually using Coates Turco satin thread. I got a big cone of it at a recycle center but it's a cotton coated polyester thread and I know that the wool felt is not going to stick or felt to it later on. If you're getting value in what I've shared so far don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Moving on I then strung all the eco printed uh, squares or rough squares, the two different thicknesses. And then once they were strung, I just tied each piece into a rough circle. So how do you transform the rough cut squares into soft and rounded felt beads? It's really simple in fact. Put your strung 
felt squares into the hottest, longest cycle of your washing machine. The tumbling motion and the water helps make the beads firm up and softens their edges. Being mindful of energy conservation, I always put my felt beads into the machine with dirty denims or something similar, something that's going to have a long wash. And in that way, the beads will get bumped around a lot. They'll shrink more and they will get a beautiful organic shape around the edge. Two small notes of caution. Don't put brightly colored beads in with your white shirts or anything really important. And also, I recommend not having black cotton in the machine at the same time, or you may pick up all sorts of little bits of fuzzy fiber onto your, your cotton. As you can see from my completed beads, there are some beautiful organic shapes with soft, edges to the beads. I used to have a more aggressive washing machine rather than the very environmentally friendly one I have now and if this is what you have you'll actually find that the beads are a rounder and more even shape. I love having them organic anyway and this piece that I'm opening up now these are actually the beads that were the lighter eco printed felt the jacket that I cut up and you can see that some of the pieces have almost felted together. And I find it quite interesting where the seams were in the felt. You can see this big bead here had one of the seams. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with these, but I will share some ideas for using your felt beads in a future video. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial about creating felt beads. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in more tutorials, tips and advice from my felting, eco printing and natural dye practice in Ireland. See you next time.